Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video, we're going to create a tablecloth using the cloth modifier. But before we start, let's create a real size table to place it on. So let's get started. Okay, we'll go over here to Customize. We're going to scroll down to Unit Setup, US Standard Decimal Inches, and then we're going to press OK. Let's come over to the Create panel. We'll select a cylinder, and now we're going to drag out a cylinder here in the in the perspective viewport. Don't worry about the size. We'll go up to the Modify panel, and we're going to set the radius there. First of all, we'll type in 12, and a height we're going to type in. 0.5. Height segments, we'll bring them down to 1. The cap segments, let's put in 2. And sides, we'll type in 32. I'm just going to press Alt W on the keyboard to maximize the viewport. And then Z to zoom in. Okay, now we can right click and we convert to an editable poly. Let's come over to the subdivision mode and select edges. We're going to click on one of those end edges and the one straight underneath holding the control key down. Now we'll come over to the panel and click on loop. Now we can chamfer the edges so let's go over to edit edges. We'll scroll down to chamfer and click on the small settings box. Now here in the caddy in the edge chamfer amount let's just type in 0.05 then press the OK. Press it twice. Now we're going to select all the edges on the top. So let's just click on one of these edges. We'll orbit around. Hold the control key down now and click on one of the edges underneath. Now we can go over to the panel and click on ring. Here we are. We have all the edges. Now we can just scroll down and click on the small settings button for connect. In the caddy, we'll leave segments at 1 and we'll scroll down to slide. Now here we're just going to drag the bottom dial. We'll drag it down to minus 95. Then press the OK button twice. Let's just orbit around to make sure we've done the same underneath. That's fine. Now we're going to select all the inner edges here. First we'll click on 1, hold the shift key down and we'll click on the one right next to it. That's looped all our edges. Now we can come over to the connect, sit, click on the small settings box for connect. We're going to bring the amount up to 2. Slide, we're going to bring back to 0. And now here in pinch, we'll just drag it up. Let's drag it up to 65. And then press the OK button twice. There we are. We have just added some more topology to our model. Let's turn off Editable Poly. We'll go to the Modify list and we're going to scroll down. And we're going to select Mesh Smooth. Here in the Antinerations, let's bring it up to 2. There we are. Very smooth. Now let's go over and change the name. We'll just type in Base, as this is going to be the bottom end of our table. Let's create the middle leg. So we'll go over now to the Create panel, Geometry, and we'll select Cylinder. Now we're going to drag out a cylinder again here, right in the centre. In Radius, let's type in 2. Height, we'll type in 28. Height Segments, we'll just leave it 1. Cap Segments, we'll leave it 2. And the Sides, we'll also leave it 32. Before we go any further, let's center all our objects. We're going to go to the main toolbar. We're going to right click on the move tool. This will activate the transform buttons at the bottom of the screen. We'll just click on each dial and bring them back to zero. We'll do the same again for the base. Select the base and bring each dial back to zero. Okay, let's select the cylinder. We'll go to the modify panel and we're going to change the name. Let's just type in leg. Now we can create the top of our table. Let's just select our base, hold the shift key down, and now we're going to drag a copy up right to the top of the cylinder. Now here in Clone Options, we'll change the name, we'll type in top, then press OK. 
We'll also go down to the bottom dial and in the Z we'll type in 28. Back up to the main toolbar, we're going to right click on the scale tool to have access to the dialog. Now in Offset World, type in 117. Then click anywhere in the perspective viewport. And now we can close the dialog. There we are. The tabletop is just scaled automatically. OK, that's our table. Let's carry on now and create the cloth. Let's go to the Create panel, Geometry, and we'll select the plane. We're going to draw out our plane here in the top viewport. We'll go over to the Modify panel, now down here in Parameters. We'll type in Length 60, Width 60, Length Segments will type in 100, and the Width Segments will also type in 100. We need to have a lot of segments to get a good result with the Cloth Modifier Simulation. We'll change the name to Cloth. Now here in the front viewport, let's just zoom in a little bit. And now we can drag our cloth up. Just above the top, not too much. Let's drop down to the dial now and centre the plane. Bring the X and the Y back to zero. Don't worry about the Z, the Z is the height. There we are, we have all our objects centred. With the plane still selected, we'll go over to the Modify list and select the Cloth Modifier here in Object Properties. We'll just have a look here in the Object Properties dialog. We've got the Cloth object, but we need to add the Tabletop. So click on Add Objects and double click on Top. There we are, now we have the two objects needed to make this simulation. Let's choose the Cloth first. Cloth will act as Cloth, so let's check Cloth. Now here in Cloth Properties, here in Presets, we'll just select Cotton. All the default settings are fine. Now let's go back over and click on Top. Top is going to be our Collision Object, so we'll scroll right down to the bottom and check Collision Object, then press OK. OK, there's just one more thing I'd like to do. Let's scroll down. We'll scroll down to Simulation Parameters. And here in Shelf Collision, We'll turn it on and set it to 1. This will stop the cloth from interpenetrating. Now we can come up and select Simulate. Actually, what we are going to do now is create a small animation of 100 keyframes, but we're only interested in the last keyframe. Let's press Simulate. We can control the progress of the simulation here in the dialog. We can see it's got the elapsed time, the last frame. It'll take a wee while to complete the simulation, so I'm going to turn off the video. OK, now we're back. Let's just press out W to maximize the perspective viewport. I'm going to orbit around. Very good. The tablecloth looks very good, very effective. You can see we have a nice flat top and how the cloth has loosely fallen around the sides. Don't forget we've just created an animation. And let's just drag the slider up and down a wee bit. Very effective, but we're only interested in the last frame. Let's go over to the Modify panel now. We're going to scroll down and we're going to add a Shell Modifier. Now here in the parameters, the outer amount, we're just going to type in 0 0.1. We've just added some thickness to the cloth. Let's right click now and convert to an editable poly. Well, here we are. Now we have our tablecloth and our round table. Very effective. Very is. All you have to do now is add some textures. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.